When I was a kid, everyone made fun of me because I was always so big and my last name is Little. By the third grade, I was by far the biggest kid at our school. That was the year my mom left. Okay, where were we? You had just given us our two minutes to think. Right. Uh, why don't we start over so our new students can join us? Expedition Ingenuity puts students together to collectively use creativity to solve interesting and unusual problems. Uh, I'm sorry, Miss Dees, did you say the problems or the students were unusual? <laughs> I, I couldn't, I'm sorry, I couldn't tell. I, I think I still have jello in, in, in my ear. The problems. Right now, we are focused on an instant experiment. Once I read the problem, you have two minutes to think and two minutes to respond. The more creative the answer, the more points you receive. The experiment. Something has been found on the planet Farkle. You must say something about it or how it may be used. And seriously, go. One day we were on the playground, at recess, the other kids were making fun of me again. They had this ringleader named Earl. We were on the merry-go-round and I, I guess I got fed up because I pushed Earl. He flew off the merry-go-round and broke his arm. <laughs> I got in pretty big trouble, but no one ever made fun of me again. The first day of middle school, the football coach came and found me in homeroom. He told me to see him after school. He told me if I listened and did everything he said, he'd make me into the best football player our school system had ever produced. I've been the starting left tackle on every team I've been on. That's where I met JD. <laughs> he told me to stick with him and we'd go places together. Good job, everyone. I'll see you all tomorrow. Evan, could you stick around a minute? Sure. Hey, uh, don't be late. Coach wants to say sap. Woo! Evan, why are you here? I started that food fight. Why? <laughs> I don't know. Can I ask you another question? Sure. Are you friends with JD? Yeah. Do you like him? Is he nice to you? Do you share common interests? Mm, we play football together, so... Do you like football? See, there, there's a difference between people you do things with and your friends. Like, I work with a lot of teachers here. They're not all my friends. My friends, I have a relationship with. I'm committed to being their friend, and I know they feel the same about me. Okay. Principal Givens told me that he suspected you started that food fight because JD told you to. And I've been watching you all week. You haven't been participating at all. I'm in detention, I'm not your smart club. But you also haven't been participating with J.D. and Hallie, undermining my authority. It's like you've been in neutral gear all week. You want to know what I think? I think no one has ever given you the choice. What choice? The choice to commit. I think you have always done whatever you've been told. I think you're a lot smarter than they think you are. I think you're a lot smarter than you think you are. Evan, I would love to have you in Expedition Ingenuity if you would choose to. Okay. Can I go now, or...? Yes, Evan, thank you. This is the last day our guests will be joining us. I'm only sorry you weren't more involved. Our instant experiment today. 
You have one minute to think, two minutes to respond, extra points for creativity. The problem, you are a patient in an operating room. You hear noises or conversations. What are some things you would like to hear or not like to hear? And go. What? And time. Responses? You're going to be just fine. This is a routine procedure. Count backwards from 100? Try not to worry. Boring. <laughs> what else? Whoops. What was that? I want to hear him say whoops. Yes. Bonus points. Dude, what are you doing? Did he say right or left? <laughs> How many sponges were there? <laughs> or I just lost a contact. Um, where did that go? Or the sight of blood makes me lightheaded. <laughs> or did he say appendectomy? <laughs> 